It's your boy LB back with another fight reaction. And you see it. We in the gym. We sparring. One dude got on headgear, so he's protecting himself. The other guy don't got on headgear. He's probably the guy that figures, yo, I'm better than this guy. You know, I got more skills than him, so I don't need the headgear. I get it. I've done this before. But what we're going to learn right here is that ego and narcissist has no place in fighting. Ego will make you do moves that will get you slept. Sleep, sleep. You got to remove the ego. As Wilson Pitts told me, check your ego at the door, young man, before you come in the room. As always, like, sub, and share. Let's get into this. Okay, he's like, yeah, I'm feeling it. What you got? You ain't got nothing. Give it to me. Oh, hold on. Oh, you, you have more than I got. Oh, I'm frozen. I'm ice frozen. Look at that position there. Look at the position. Look at that position there. Look, his feet are raised off the ground. It's almost like he's doing the backwards plank. He's planking. <laughs> That's what that left hook did to him. It planked him out. He thought he blanked out. He planked out. This ain't a blank out. This is a plank out. Look at it. Let's, let's go back. Let, let's see. Let's see as it goes down. Ah, look at this. Bang. Look at the legs. Look at his legs. His back went down to the ground first. His legs and feet, they look like they still wanted to be in the fight. I think I think his legs was like, hold on, man. Get us back to the ground so we can get we can get ours back. But when you get zapped like this, look, look, oh man, look at that. That is a sleep sleep position if I ever saw one. Except this sleep sleep position is very dynamic. Because not only is he sleep sleeping, he's planking. That see, this is where it gets you. See, you, why would you put your chin in the gap and let a man hit you? Would you open your wallet and let a man take money out your, out your wallet? Would you open the door to your house and let a man that you don't know just walk in and put his feet up on your furniture? Would you open your refrigerator and let a stranger go in there and take out your vitamin water and your salad? And, and and that food you got from Chili's, or that or that or that 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 uh a spicy chicken sandwich you got from uh uh uh, uh you know um uh what's that spot y'all know uh, um Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A it had to come back to me Chick Fil A you know that spicy chicken and that Chick Fil A sandwich is ser serious business so would you open your freezer or your uh, or your refrigerator and let a man walk in and take your Chick Fil A spicy chicken sandwich no you would so you just don't put your chin in the gap and let a man take your chin people this is narcissism on steroids look at him now look at you now look at you now oh let's see it one more time yeah i ain't ready what you got you ain't got nothing oh i didn't know you had that <laughs> look how that left hook did him it made him bow he said hold on let me bow up out of here <laughs> this is terrible as as I said in the beginning, do not let a man take your chin. Do not, do not let a man take your money. Do not let a man take your spirit. These are all things you must keep. As always, like, sub, and share. It's your boy. Charlie, give me some of that uh, 52 in there. What it is, it's your boy LB, back with the fight tips. And we know in, in these street fights with them knuckle draggers, you can end up in the guillotine. And the guillotine where he moves the arm over and really tries to lock it in. So I'm going to show you how to use a bagua move to escape said guillotine. Let's go. Get tight. Uh -huh. Get tight. Don't let them knuckle draggers hurt you. Make it home safe. 